sup YouTube official gaming network and welcome back to part two of our breakout in Java series. Last episode we actually set up our game loop is what well it's pretty much what we need to create a game. But if you but if we try and run it go ahead and run it. We'll see we actually it actually can't run. It says and you'll be thinking, well, probably most of you won't uh, be wondering why, but some of you will, and I'm just going to explain that a bit. It's because we haven't made a main method. Now, when we run a Java application, it looks for the main method. And if it doesn't have a main method, well, it doesn't run. We pretty much need our main method to create a game. We cannot run without it. So to create our main method, simply what we're going to do is as above run. So we go public static void. Void means we're not returning anything. Pretty sure I explained that last episode. Main. And in our brackets, we want to create a string array called args, or short for arguments. So now. If we want our game to run and we want it to call the start method because methods need to be called so we'll just type game make sure it's the name of your class if it's not game then just name it the name of your class so game game is equal to a new game all right and now we can actually type game dot start because it's the class name, it realizes it realizes the code in here, and uh, it knows sort of it knows that this method exists, and there's a class called game with a start method. So we'll actually so if we run it now, look at that. That is amazing. Our game loop is actually working. It is looping over and over again. And uh, it's just printing out running. That is amazing. So let's just go and delete this. But now we want to create what all games need. A window. A game isn't a game without a window. So first, before we actually create our window, we want to type here. We want to create some integers for the size, which will handle our uh, JFrame size. A J frame. I'll explain that later. So I want to type public static. Static means it can be accessed in different methods or methods in methods, whatever. It can just be accessed anywhere. Public means any class can. If something, if we make a class that extends game, then we can get width off of it. Public static final. Final means once you declared it. Once you declared it, you cannot change it. Well, uh, that's it. You cannot change it no matter what you do. So, final int. An integer is, obviously, you would know, a full, a whole a number. We want to call it width. I put it in capitals because, uh, one, it is an important thing, and two, it's uh, sort of preferable and necessary to put, to make the... Uh, variable name in caps if it's final so we're going we're going to make it equal to let's say 180 that's going to be our width and you'll be and 180 that's going to be 180 pixels and you think what well, that's a little small dude but you'll see we're going to scale it up by four which means multiply the width and height by four so one type public static final int Height. Now this is going to be a height. It's going to be width divided by twelve times ten. Yeah, you. It gives a nice height. When you, I like to do that for my width instead of just randomly guessing the height because it gives you a nice height. I like it like that way. So now, of course, this is small, and I was saying. We're going to scale it up. I'm going to type public static final int 
Gale equals 4. We're going to scale it up by 4. So 180 will be 720. And uh, height will be whatever the value it is times 4. Whatever. Okay, so now we need to apply 180 to scale. We want to set our size to uh, the scale. So we need to make a constructor. Public. I will spell public run. Public game. There's going to be a method. So this is pretty much our main constructor. If we create a game object, which we have already, then it's going to execute the code in this method when we create a game. That and that's for all other classes as well. So we want to type dimension size. I'll explain what a dimension is. Is equal to new dimension is then type width times scale comma height times scale hmm. now what a dimension is is I don't really know how to explain it but we're using to store the variables we're using it to store the values of the width times the scale and the height times scale in a dimension. So when we say size it is referring to this, is referring to these variables. So we want to type set. So now we want to set the size because we haven't actually done that. So type set preferred size. Now we want to set a preferred size to something because we already made. A dimension size we can just type size and we can type set maximum size equal to size spelt maximum wrong there now type set minimum size is size so that's great now uh, we can act so now we want to create our frame we want to actually get our frame going first we want to create public Static final string. Make sure with a string, it's a capital S. They call it title equals uh, breakout game. Now this is pretty much going to be our title for our game. And so yeah, a string is pretty much uh, a variable of characters like game loop here. This game loop will be a string. All right. So now we want to actually go to our main method and remember this code will be executed the first as soon as we run our game before any other code. Now we want to create a J frame. Now I sort of mentioned that before accidentally. Now a J frame is pretty much a frame but in Java because Java pretty much means, I mean J pretty much means Java. Just think J frame as short for Java frame. There's also other things like J button, J panel, but we won't be using that. We don't need those. So I want to create type J frame frame. They're gonna call our J frame frame is is equal to a new J frame. Now you see we get an error because as I explained before, sometimes we need to import certain classes. And this is going to be in the swing, and swing is pretty much just GUI things, or graphical user interface. So just like buttons and, well, you should know what GUI is. So now we want to actually create, well, we sort of have created our JFrame, but we need to actually sort of make it. We've, cr we've created it. There's something that's called JFrame, but we need to display it. Display is what I mean. So we want to go frame dot add, then we want and in there we want to put game. Now what that will do is that is because I said uh, it, when we create a game object, then it's going to go to this code. It's action, and because we say set preferred size, set maximum size, it's actually going to set the size. It's going to add what we did in game. So therefore, setting the size. That's great. Also, in the brackets of our JFrame, we want to put title in there. 
we can actually uh when we like I said it's like we gave our thread a name we called it game loop we can do that with J frames and this is what our and this is what the text on the top of our frame will be. So we'll put title, therefore it will be breakout game. Let's just type breakout game official gaming. That's what. It's. Okay. Then we want to go frame dot pack. Pretty much just packs everything into place. Well, I'm not really sure. You can look it up somewhere. Uh, Google. We'll have it somewhere on up or other tutorials. Anyway, we want to go frame dot set resizable equal to false. Now set resizable, which pretty much means you can resize our frame. For instance, if we open up Google, you can see. Well, hang on, hang on. Let me just. You can see that we can actually resize our frame or our window to whatever we want but we don't actually want to do that with our with our game we will see it in professional like games like minecraft but because we're not going as professional as minecraft it would actually cause a lot of graphical errors yeah we just just don't want to set sizable leak or false it will make bad things happen anyway frame frame dot set default close operation and this is what will happen when we click the X button on our JFrame equal to JFrame dot exit on close so this code will what's wrong with this? I don't know what's wrong with that anyway uh, so this is what will happen when we click our exit button it will go exit on close pretty much just makes our exit button work so frame dot set location relative to null pretty much what we'll do is that setting the location of where our frame will be to null or the middle of our screen it's pretty much the only reason we're using this to make our frame go in the middle of our screen and first, we want to actually make our frame visible. So we want to go frame dot set visible equal to true because we want our frame to be visible. So now, so now if you run it, look at that. We have got our frame. That is amazing. All right, I'm gonna wrap this episode up here. Next episode, we're going to be going on to creating an FPS counter and. Uh, sort of a ticks per second counter i'll explain ticks in next episode so yeah anyway if you enjoyed leave a like comment and subscribe and stay tuned for more tutorials